Hello. In this short video, I want to look at the uh, default source name configuration setting that you can use within Chocolate GUI and what it is uh, and how it works. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, if I go ahead and run Chocolate GUI uh, just now, what will happen is that Chocolate GUI will, the application will open and it will open to the default, what's known as the source. So in this case, it's the this PC source. It's looking, it's showing you all of the packages that are currently installed on this local PC. Now, because of the way that my configuration is set up, I've got two additional sources set up. One is for a Nexus repository that's running on this machine, which is uh, the Chocolatey internal uh, source here. And I've also got uh, pointing at the uh, chocolatey.license feed uh, that comes uh, out of the box with uh, the Chocolatey license extension. So I can click on one of these, obviously, and I can see the packages that exist on those sources. Now, if I wanted uh, Chocolatey GUI to always open uh, to this source rather than to the this PC source, then that's exactly what the uh, default source name setting is all about. Now, out of the box, that setting comes as blank. It doesn't come set to anything, but there is a note over here, and this note is indicating that this setting will only take uh, action, only it will only actioned on if you're using Chocolate GUI license extension as well as the, the Chocolate GUI itself. So if you're just using the open source version of Chocolate, then you can set this setting, but it actually won't do anything. It's only once you have the Chocolate GUI license extension installed that it will start acting on it. So for example, if I wanted to uh, always open to the Chocolate licensed source here, I could go into the setting and I could give it a name here, which is Chocolate licensed. I'm going to make sure I spell it correctly. So I'm going to set that. So this time around, I'm going to close Chocolate GUI. And when I open Chocolate GUI the next time, rather than going to this PC, uh, it will go to the Chocolate license feed. Uh, and that's exactly what uh, some folks might want to do. They might want to always present the, the, the user with the ability to install a package rather than knowing what's uh, currently installed on the machine. So that's what that is for. Now, one point of note is if you do happen to uh, type this incorrectly, so let's say I, I, I call it Chocolate License 1, if I close that and then I reopen Chocolate GUI, then because it can't find a source with the name Chocolate License 1, it will just go back to the default, which is to open the this PC uh, source. So hopefully this is useful. Uh, like I say, one point of note, again, just to reiterate, is that this setting will only work if you are using Chocolate GUI license extension. Uh, you, you can indicate an indication of that down at the bottom here, where it's currently saying that I've got Chocolate GUI uh, 0181 Business Edition. Okay, if you're using the open source version, this setting, uh, even though you set it, uh, won't do anything. So thank you very much. Hopefully this was useful to you.